Hello, hello. Um, <laughs> my name is Lorxa and I am running Elden Ring Any Persons, uh, and I have an amazing commentator with me, Miss Catlink. <laughs> hello, hi, hey. <laughs> so uh, yeah, she'll be helping me commentate the run while I focus. Thank you, Catlink. <laughs> no problem. And it looks like this the name that won, I think, is my first save file. It is file, my first save file. file. Uh, I do have to correct that a little. First is with the number one, if we can oh, make okay, that sure. change. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm oh. really sorry. Last minute snipe. Trout takes it at $151 to Whoa. my first save file, 150 Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay, Trout it is. <laughs> Well, yeah, Trout well, it is, if the I run, guess. if the run is unlucky, it's because my character is named Trout. You know, Slippery wow. Fish. Wow, wow. <laughs> we, yeah, we blame the Trout. The trout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, can I count down? All right, uh, yeah. so we'll start the run in three, two, one, go. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, so I guess we can start by talking about uh, how the game is down patched for this run. Yeah, we're running on uh, version 1.2 uh, because like some things are are very much overpowered mm -hmm. in the old patch, which they removed. Sadly. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Oops. Yeah, there was a, a lot of broken speedrun mechanics that were unfortunately taken out of the recent patches. So a lot of speedrunners will use a down patched version of the game, uh, which allows us to use Ice Rhine Hatchet. Uh, it's super broken, and you'll you'll see why. Yeah, it's this so, basically our uh, bread and butter for the run, Ice Rhine Hatchet. Mm-hmm. And so the first boss is uh, not really much of a boss because uh, Lars is just going to jump off the ledge. <laughs> oh no, I died! <laughs> oh no, whatever shall we do? Yeah. Truly unfortunate. That's because my name is Trout, so. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. blame the Trout. I always blame the Trout. <laughs> So right off the bat, we're going to be running over to go get uh, our trusty steed, Torrent. But uh, first, you're going to notice that uh, the doors are a little slow uh, for this category. Uh, Larksa doesn't do, or like we all don't do, uh, any quit outs. Normally, you would see that a lot with Dark Souls runs. Uh, but for this one, it's just faster to do it without the quit outs. And uh, for the most part, there won't be any quit outs for the majority of this yeah, run. Correct. Unless um, I will be quitting out for like enemies to reset their position sometimes. Yeah. Some enemies in this game can be quite uh, scary to deal with, especially when you're super low leveled uh, and we won't be getting any levels until way later in the run. So it's a little bit of a risky business going from point A yeah. to point B. So this part, uh, we're going to be taking a little bit of a, a walk, uh, but I guess we can mention uh, any percent in the category and what it has. So you won't see any zips in this category. Uh, it's any percent, but it's restricted in a sense, because for those who might have heard of Elden Ring, uh, you might be very well aware <laughs> of these zips and how that category is like five minutes yeah, less than very five broken. minutes now. Yeah, so uh, this category is a little bit uh, less crazy about that and more focused on a lot different, a lot of different tech. I guess another thing to note is uh, while running, uh, you'll see Larksa occasionally spam crouch. Uh, so crouching in this game actually replenishes your stamina, which is super useful. Uh, so if you ever get stuck in your low stamina, yep. just crouch. <laughs> Here we're gonna see Melina, our maiden. I can play turning to aid you. You need only to the foot. No longer yeah, maiden. No longer maidenless. I bequeath. Let's go. It will summon to treat him with. <laughs> she also gives us torrents. There you go. And and torrent is uh, you'll see uh, some interesting things with torrent later on in the run. 
Uh, don't worry, there's no torrents harmed in the making mm -hmm. of this run. Very important. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm also, uh, every like three seconds or so, I spam uh, sprints to like optimize the running. Because you get like a small speed boost whenever you do that. Mm hmm Yeah. There are. Take a little <laughs> sip, then we go. There's also only one reason why we ever take that grace over there, and that's because we're gonna do something later called wrong warping, and that's the only grace that works for a wrong warping in Old Patch, or one of the only graces. Wild how it's only that one yeah. grace. <laughs> Uh, skip coming up here. Yeah. Do a little jump. So this is kind of like a risky jump. Uh, so she's going to want to sort of Oof. land on a higher... Oh, that was really close. So that jump, if you don't go too... If you don't go left enough, it's very yeah, easy to it's, fall it's off. It's pretty ex uh, exact. So the demanded salad found this jump. Yeah. Whenever runners fail this jump, they will say like, ah... Why demand this? Why? <laughs> yeah, salad? we blame the salads. <laughs> uh, when in doubt, yep. blame the salad. Uh, well. Alright, so right now we're just kind of making our way to a teleport. Hello, doggos. Oh, oh, I always get nervous when yeah, you do the Yeah, the game jumps. always lags here a bit, so very scary yeah so the the uh falling uh the fall damage in this game is quite generous for the most part but some ledges are questionable sometimes it feels like oh you know i wasn't that high up and then the game just says oh you know what you die now. yeah <laughs> yeah this game also likes to other... store your jumps like your heights so sometimes you'll be going down like a, a steep cliff and it seems safe, so you touch the ground, it's fine, and then like a second later you randomly die. Yeah, I definitely have fallen to that quite a number of times. <laughs> Alright, so while we're making our way, we might have a time uh, time for a yeah. donation. Well, I, think I have actually a hundred dollars from a very familiar name to you, Larksa. Distortion oh. 2 sent oh. in a hundred dollars saying, Go, Larksa, Aww. go! Oh, thank you so much. Aww. Thank you for, for the support. Yeah, he has, uh, Distortion 2 has taught me a lot of uh, speedrunning tricks, <laughs> stuff like that. So, yeah, he has taught me a lot. Have time for more? Uh, yeah. KK sends in twenty dollars saying, The iconic! The inspirational Larksa at GDQ? No <laughs> way. Good luck and hi, Souls <laughs> Runners in chat. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, I. This is a very important one. I should have put it first. I'm very sorry. Oh, I'm sending oh, oh, okay. in $121 to say good luck on the run, Larksa. This person sniped our bid war because their name is for Trout. Oh! 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 I, yeah, I think we have you to blame for, for this not good luck. <laughs> yeah. So we know yes. who to blame now. And thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. But now we have the ice rind yep. hatchet. Got our, our our bread and butter yep. of a weapon. It's wonderful. The meat and the potatoes. Mm-hmm. I'm making my way to the glimstone key, which which we'll need for the academy later on in the run. Yeah, it's just so well placed behind this dragon. Uh, so we're just gonna grab it and yep. uh, get out of here. We're not dealing with any dragons this time around. I'm so used to listening to your runs when you you don't have the yeah. game music on. It's quite epic. I'm not used to the game music, so I'm kind of unsettled right now. <laughs> oh, it's so it makes you yeah, uh, shake your boots a it's bit. It's a bit too <laughs> epic. I'm like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I forgot about this music actually. 
Uh, Usually it's just like silence and I forget about the dragon, but now it was like blaring tunes. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a dragon <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, watch out. Alright. So we're just making our way, I believe, to back to Lakai? Uh, we're going to or Wall Warp next. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh yes, the wrong warp, of course. Which I will need like some silence for. Yeah, no worries. Mm, uh, wrong warps in this game can be quite, uh, quite. Yeah, finicky. it's a, it's a very, very specific sound cue for the wrong warp. Yeah. So we're gonna take a moment of silence. First, I'm gonna jump mm. down here. And this guy looks scary, so I'm gonna quit out just in case. Just oh. in case. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Uh, not quitting out there if that happens. <laughs> so now he's gone. There you go. Yep. Easy. Yeah, definitely uh, better safe than sorry with mm -hmm. some enemies, because some will just one-shot you, especially since we're still level one. Yep. Okay, so I'm favoriting the grace, and then I'm gonna wrong warp next. I need to listen to a sound cue, and it's very specific. Okay, hopefully... Mm -hmm. Crossing our fingers. Yes. Got it! Oh, there it is! <laughs> awesome. Good Thank job! You. Yeah, now we are in Ferrum Azula, a endgame place. <laughs> Yeah, normally you wouldn't get here until obviously way later yeah. in the game. Uh, but the thanks to wrong warping, uh, it just kind of brings you yeah. here. Uh, essentially, it's trying to um, teleport you back to Stormhill, but because of how everything went when you quit out, uh, it doesn't know exactly where to put you, so it puts you at like a default location, which just so happens yeah. to be here. Which is a very scary area because these enemies are honestly no joke. They are not fr the not the friendliest. So that's why Larksa kind of has uh, the quit out <laughs> on on yeah. the ready. Yeah, one hit on your deaths, basically. Yeah. yeah. Being level one in late game areas is uh, not a good time usually. But so far, so good. Mm, so while we make our way to the location, I feel maybe a donation yeah. would be okay. All right. Well, Corosa Frost sends in twenty-five dollars to say less than three, less than three, less than three, less than three, less than three. Did I count those right? Yes, five hearts for you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How nice. So, I believe we're making our way to the uh, nobles, mm -hmm. yeah. godskins. The lovely godskin duo that everybody loves, of course. But we're, yeah, Favorite we're not boss. gonna fight him yet, thankfully. <laughs> thankfully. Uh, gotta level up some yeah. stuff first. So a lot of the first portion of this run is is basically just resource gathering. Uh, it's a lot of oh oh oh. It's a lot of getting uh, different items such as somber stones, uh, your weapons, and certain buffs, and as well as ball bearings. And it's just useful things that are going to be uh, basically making you super strong for late game. Yeah, this entire area is very scary. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's arrows coming out of nowhere. The enemies are jumping at you. It is... Uh, <laughs> Save me. It is quite hectic. Ooh, that guy came, like, coming out of the wall was... Uh, <laughs> was not That's expecting fine. that. Alright, now we have to quit out so we can use the map. Oh, uh, yeah. I quit out so to reset the aggro because you can't use the map otherwise. Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna go to EG to upgrades. The lovable yep. EG! 
And so Eiji is a, a character that is kind of like a merchant in this game. Uh, you see him later on usually, but uh, he can upgrade your weapon, uh, I believe at a higher yeah. tier. So we're going to be going straight to EG. Uh, we don't exactly, I don't think we go to uh, round table hold until a little later yeah. into the run. So we mostly just rely mm. on EG. Yeah, we go pretty late because um, Melana talks a lot when going to round table hold for the first time. Yeah, she, yeah. she really does. So we want to like uh, postpone that. Yeah. Uh, Melina sure likes to go on a, a, a novel yeah. of a conversation at times. So we're going to be leveling up, I believe, the Ice Ryan Hatchet uh, about yeah. four times. We collected enough somber stones to be able to do mm -hmm. so, so should be good. Oh, E.G. There you go. Buy all the somber stones. There you go. Super powerful <laughs> ice rind. Okay, back to Rhea Lucaria, and then we have another interesting trick with torrents. Yeah. So Lars is going to be doing the Pegasus glitch. Uh, if y'all know who Pegasus is, it's a flying horse, uh, and you got that right. Lars is going to make the horse yeah. fly. <laughs> It's a really interesting setup, and it takes a little bit of a... It, it does take a little bit of a setup, but it's really, really cool once it's all put together. Yeah, you have to cut out extremely fast. You need to cut out before you touch the ground, basically, when you're flying off of torrents. Yeah, so basically torrents gonna end up next to you instead of in your pocket, yeah, right so here. to speak. There he is. Yeah, one beautiful <laughs> torrent. So now, uh, she's going to quit out before mm -hmm. dying, uh, and then we're going to bring out Torrent again. And I'm sorry for the next part, okay. chat. Close your eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, oh, Torrent. Oh. Poor baby boy. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's back. No, he's fine. All right. <laughs> false alarm. False, false yep, alarm, he's everybody. Back. He's going he's on fine. an adventure with us. It's okay. He's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. So this uh, this trick allows you to pretty much go anywhere. Uh, anywhere that your height allows yep, you. Correct. Um, and you see that uh, the, the area loaded in, and now we're, uh, now we're past yep. the gate. We just basically went... Right through the entire, um, whatchamacallit, wizard, wizard yeah, area. I, don't, I forget the, the area. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, it is a wizard area, so. Yeah. It is quite wizardly. So this enemy, uh, don't worry, it's all part of the plan. Um, this enemy is going to kill her and then bring her to a completely different yeah. area of Volcano Manor. And this is the only enemy that allows you to do uh, a teleport in this, I believe, yeah. in this area, other than like the uh -huh. coffins. Correct. Mm -hmm. So now we're here. Yeah, Volcano Manor. Lots of uh, lots of fire slugs around here, but the enemies in this area can also be quite uh, a little nerve a little nerve wracking. But oh, so scary. Should be more than fun. So scary. <laughs> Oh, hold her breath here. So right now, Larks is going to be grabbing a bunch of somber stones uh, just to further upgrade weapons and such. Um, we're going to do a few little tricks coming up. We're going to be dealing with one of the Godskin duo, the Godskin Noble. The so Godskin Noble, we're actually going to do a little trick that allows us to uh, freeze his AI completely and just have at yep. it. <laughs> Pretty cool setup. I, I I definitely enjoyed that glitch in particular because that boss <laughs> yeah. is not a fun time. <laughs> just running through this entire area is also nerve wracking because one hit and you're just dead. Yeah, so we're still level yeah. one, right? So everything is just a potential death threat. <laughs> yeah. 
So hopefully they behave. Excuse oh. me, sir. Oh. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. It's fine. <laughs> Intended. So she's going to ex- uh, enter this room, quit out, and then re-enter. And that way the game thinks that you did the boss kind of... You did an attempt on the boss already. So the fog gate will appear. So now she's going to do a setup where she's the furthest away to be able to do the input and then go through the fog wall, which should break the AI. Yeah, if if the angle is like correct, it should work. Okay, one, Um, two, two, three, three, four, I think we're good. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. one of the one of the skips for this boss, I guess, <laughs> yeah. or a glitch. Also, look at look at look at his mouth. It like opens every time you like hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can see the damage for Ice Rind is just yeah. insane with the Horfrost stomp. And he just sits there <laughs> and takes it. It's great. <laughs> Right. Easy boss. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna go to the round table hold for the very first time. Oh, so- hey, Melina. What's the novel you want to tell us about? <laughs> Something about torrent, gathering oh, place, yep, champions. Yep. Okay, sure, there sure thing. Take my hand <laughs> and you'll see a world of pure imagination. <laughs> yeah, I always usually sing that one when I'm at that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so now we're gonna give the lady here uh, the ball bearings. And I believe that gives us, yeah, the later somber stones and the summoning bell, which we'll be using later in the run. I think now might be a good time for donations. Well, yeah, I like, like one, summon, yeah. actually. Uh, Bussin <laughs> wants oh. to say good luck to Luxa. <gasps> I really hope she gets to show off, and I'm really sorry if I say this wrong, the Tomahawk Dean Summon, and it's, <laughs> as it is my favorite summon in the entire game. Mine too. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Mine too. All right. So, I'll. Uh, Arx is going to do a little jump here. Uh, this jump is quite rough, uh, especially to do it quickly, just because the setup is so specific. But she's able to jump on these ledges just to parkour all the way up here to get that stone. And- <sighs> luckily, yeah, luckily oh. I have a very fast quit out, so it's fine. <laughs> just that, that quit out was lightning yeah. speed. Holy moly. Okay, we have the stone. Nice. I'm going to make sure again when we're down there, but... Yeah, I think Oof. I think the it registered that she picked it up, so that's good. Yeah, it didn't like Yeah, those didn't enemies didn't like register uh, once, which was really weird. Yeah, I remember you tried picking it up during yeah. our practice. And it just didn't uh did not mm-hmm. want to. <laughs> so doing another quit out here to reset the enemies. And then we're back in. Yep. I'm also gonna double check that stone. Yep, we got everything. I think so, yeah. There we go. So now we have uh, Royal Knight's Resolve, which gives you, I think, 80% plus damage to uh, to basically what you do, uh, to your move set and everything. Which is super nice. So you'll probably see Larksa do a few buffs before uh, starting a boss fight since that will basically make Horfrost Stomp in insanely yep. powerful. There you go. Just more upgrades. Making sure Royal Knight's Resolve is attached to the weapon. And now we weapon. go to the best boss fight in the entire game. I love this boss fight. It's yep. the best. It's like Ornstein and Snow, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so th- this boss duo is quite a pain in the butt. It is a required boss to complete the game, and sadly, it's not um, not always the most cooperative. So you have two bosses here. You have uh, 
Godskin Noble, and I forget the other one. We just call them Godskin Duo at this point, but you have the bigger one and the slimmer one. Basically, one has a lot of AoEs and rolling, and the other one has a bit of more of like a snake vibe. Oh, careful. And they can throw things at you. Quite unfortunate, but thankfully there are these pillars that she can hide behind, which makes it ah. a little bit easier to kite. Oh, that's okay. This boss is yeah. brutal. You got it this time. Yeah, our health is so low, like one hit and you're out, you know, it's rough. Yeah, it, it's totally normal for this to happen. It is a very hard boss, so uh, yeah. Props for being able to do this at a very low level, though. God damn. Yeah, and also with, <laughs> with the music being like so loud. <laughs> Yes. It's, it's too epic. It's too much epic music. Yeah. Again, she's gonna buff. She's gonna do a stomp to bait the noble. So that way he comes over. And then just kind of spamming Horfrost stomp. And... Oh! I get hit! Oh, come on. It's okay. If you need quiet, yeah, let me no, know. it's it's fine. I, I I actually like that you're commentating while I'm doing this fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I okay, like that. No worries. No problem. Uh, yeah. We're just getting the bad RNG out of the way for uh. Oh, you know why it's not working? It's because my character is named Trouts. That's it. Like Trout? literally. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when in doubt, blame the trout. Yeah, so... These enemies, it's a lot of just kind of having a awareness to what's going on around you. So you can see the one we're trying to aim for is quite far away, but we also have to oh, worry wow. about the other one uh, doing this stuff might be like a rip, that, but I'm gonna try. Be... Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh. Yeah, so that roll is quite deadly. Uh, if you get caught in it, you're pretty much dead. It's There's just no getting out of it half the time. So standing behind that pillar helps a lot when it comes to uh, getting away from it. But sometimes he goes over the pillar and that's not exactly ideal. So hopefully he decides to give you some good RNG here. This fight is very... Oh, yeah, now we have... Sorry. It's okay. Oh, the, no, the estimate so... is it's 40 okay. minutes, this is it's a hard fine. Fight. <laughs> Okay, I can still oh, die yeah, like no, uh, you're, 10 more times. Maybe five. <laughs> you're well ahead of estimate right now, so you're you're good. So like, uh, the problem with like all the fights in Elden Ring speedrun is at the start of the fight, the fight is always like pretty scripted by the way the enemies spawn in, like the bosses spawn in. Uh, same with like Malekith. Mm -hmm. Like Malekith is incredibly scripted if you get a first try. If you don't, the bosses are entirely on RNG and so you have to like... Improvise. <laughs> so I'm, I'm yeah. basically improvising right now. Yeah, the improvisation can be... It can go one of two ways, but hopefully this time we got it. Yeah, so for those who are probably wondering, oh, didn't she, uh, didn't she kill that one guy? Why is the other guy in here now? Um, so this boss kind of has an interesting mechanic where uh, you can kill one of them and so you can more focus on the other one, but they will revive after a short amount of time. So the timing for getting both of them can be quite tight. Oh. It's okay. Oh, he's doing his snaky move. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so these bosses have uh, quite the AoE sometimes, and just in general, the reach on them can be quite insane. It's okay. There we go, and now the other one should be in here very soon. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about that one bothering us for the rest of the fight. We just have to focus on doing the damage on this one. Where was he going? <laughs> oh. We got it, we got it, we got it. There we go, let's go! Oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> you did it! We got him out Th of the way! That was rough, that, chat. It, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, that boss yeah. is no joke, honestly. I've definitely gotten... Uh, I've had some rage moments on this boss, so I... 
props off to you for doing it so well. Got my heartbeat racing there. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have the only boss we have to worry about now, besides uh, the final boss, is Malakef. And uh, Malakef has its own interesting uh, movesets. Mm -hmm. And also entirely RNG now. if I die to the boss fight. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Malakaf's RNG can, uh, it's a toy toss, or yeah. coin toss. <laughs> All right. So now we are making, are we getting some more upgrades? Yeah, yeah? we're going to grab uh, this talisman here. There, there you go. go. It's going to give us like some more defense. Make you nice and yep. beefy. And uh, thankfully, we don't have to deal with the birds yeah, now. Yeah, oh, thank goodness. Yes, so for those, if you haven't played Elden Ring, or for those who have played Elden Ring, specifically for those who have played it, you understand the birds. Everybody knows the birds. Mm -hmm. They're the worst enemy in this game. <laughs> Um, and for those who don't know about the birds, basically think about a bird, but with swords yeah, for feet. Yeah, the sword feet birds. Yeah, and they also sometimes f do flamethrowing. So that's another thing. Um, so thankfully in, in this run now, or the category now, the birds are not an issue anymore. So that's nice. Whoa, 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 excuse me. Oh, good. These are some risky jumps we gotta do yeah. here. Basically walking on a thread. <laughs> nice. Very nice, very nice. So we might have time for a yeah, quick do. donation. Yeah. Well, see how would like to comment on Torrent, who I, I know we're not seeing anymore, but they say, hmm, with how often they re-release Skyrim, you would think that the horses there wouldn't have time to come to the lands between two. <laughs> Great That's run and thrilled to support this cause. Thank you so much, see how. So we're gonna grab the uh, the grace here because Malakev can be a little bit of a pain. <laughs> uh, he's very jumpy and has quite the move set, so having the grace there is definitely good for safety. Yeah. Yeah. The ru the run is uh, fast, but in. the fights are nerve wracking in this run. Oh. Yeah, and this category has some of the roughest boss fights in the game. Um, so yeah, safety, safety is better uh, than you know being sorry later on. All right, All right do a quit out there because that boss can be, or that little uh, tree mm -hmm. sentinel there can do some hefty damage. There you go. Let's see what RNG we get. Oh, he's not jumping. Sir, now we just do some buffs. Oh, that's actually not bad. There you go. It's gonna be a lot of dodging and trying to avoid a lot of the attacks. I believe this is the scripted yeah, fight. Scripted. Yeah, so scripted fights are what you really want in this boss because it just makes it a breeze to get through. Uh, if you were to get bad RNG on the fight, unfortunately... Yes, uh, of yeah, this boss can be quite hard, but holy moly! First try! Yay, let's go! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> you love to see it. That's what's up. Nice. Yeah, good thing. Good, uh, good on the, the scripted yeah, part, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Scripted, oh, you my. get, like, a really fast fight. Yeah, it's super nice to get it. Uh, when he... Uh, I think it's when he comes yeah. running at you. It's mm. what you really want. Right. Yeah, now we have time for a lot so of now. donations. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing yeah. a lot of running here, so uh, <laughs> go ahead. All right, well, Buster Fergonas sends in $25 to say, Elden Ring, oh, Elden Ring. Trans rights, and rights is spelled R-I-T-E-S, like a ritual. <laughs> <laughs> but, but trans rights is actually the currently 
the main character name in the lead part Pokemon Legends Arceus run tomorrow. So if you want to donate to keep that going, uh, now's your chance. Um, and I believe, Larks, that your, your preference was for Cute Chat? Yeah, Cute Chat. Yeah, well, Cute Chat's in second, actually. $271 to Chan's rights, $457. So, you know, chat, if you want to cheer Larksa on for this uh, pretty, pretty difficult run, you know what to do. M just don't donate to Badoof. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> donate Badoof, to Badoof please. if you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we've got some Badoof lovers in chat, too, I think. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just just don't let Larksa know, okay? Oh, no. Shh, I promise to keep it a secret. <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> um, Dave Shadow sends in uh, $22 to say, great job, everyone. Well, no, great job to you. Thank you so much for that donation. <laughs> Burn sends in $50 saying, I've been watching all week and the runs have all been fantastic. Thanks for everything you're doing for such a great cause. Thank you, Burn. And once again, that great cause we are all donating to is Malala Fund. Malala Fund, working for girls' education around the world. And you know what? We love to see it here. So thank you so much. Whatever you can give greatly helps. Awesome. Uh, so some people in chat at least those who've played the game, you're probably wondering, wait, oh, where's yeah. Gideon? Where's the, where's the other bosses here? Uh, so you might have not noticed, but Larksa did a little tiny jump skip to get on top of the roof to just completely bypass the Gideon boss fight, which is really, really nice, because Gideon, is his moveset is kind of like a PvP yeah. style. So it can be quite, uh, quite on edge. But now we're going to do another little skip here. We're going to jump on this ledge right around the corner. Hopefully we can get it. It's a little bit of a tricky jump. It can take a few times. Almost. Here. Oh, almost. That was close. There you go. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to basically kind of put you out of bounds and put a, it will allow you to go past the fog gate, which is really nice. So you completely skip Horolu. Mm. There we go, should have it. I'm gonna reposition myself first to be safe. Right. There you go. No worries. Take your time. So if we're lucky, I should Lead be able it. to walk through the gates. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. That are, there it is. And there, there's there's Horaloo hey. by Horaloo. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> he's he's very he loves his chair oh, so much, no. and it, now Larsa just completely destroyed oh, his chair. Oh, How could you? <laughs> Look at him, he's so <laughs> sad now. <laughs> you know, Pepe hands or, or something like that. Right, here comes the <laughs> oof, this boss fight. So the final boss of the game, Radagon and Elden Beast. So Radagon is kind of a tricky fight. Uh, his AI will walk at you for two seconds at the start of the fight so you get two free stars. I'm gonna cut out here. Yep, just just Yeah he, just he was gonna kill me with his grab so yeah so if she does die here uh it will mean that she has to do the horror yeah. loose skip again so just for safety's sake doing a quick quit out before you die is uh, <laughs> makes it's a bit a cheesy lot but you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do safety first all right, so again, get the two free stomps. Hopefully he decides to be nice. There we go. So a lot of this is just going to be waiting for him to do his attacks and then stomping. But uh, the AOE on some of the attacks can be quite wild. So there you go. More stomps. And now when he... Now he's at a percent where he will do three slams to the ground so it's a lot of just dodging so make sure we're behind him and there you go that's okay. right the hardest part is gonna come now yeah so elven beast now so you see that larksa uh summoned these imps so those imps uh we're gonna be hoping that the imps get stuck into elden uh into the elden boss so if that does happen 
the Elden Beast should be stuck in place, which will cause uh, basically just an AI break. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to redo this, sadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just redo it, just redo it. Uh, if you don't get the Elden Beast stuck, unfortunately, it does make the fight a lot harder. So, just gonna redo Radagon yeah. real quick. It's okay. Yeah, so for Elden Beast, it's very RNG. It's little, literally a gamble at the end. Uh, you can get a full AI break, a half AI break, or like, like just no AI break. Um, he was like, t he had too much health there for me to finish him off uh, when he does Elden Stars or whatever RNG gives me. So we're looking for like a, an AI break uh, for under like, so I can damage him until under fifty percent at least. Yeah. And uh, getting the AI, uh, AI break is totally reliant on whether or not the imps get yeah. stuck. Uh, and if the imps survive. So we need one of the imps to at least live while inside of Elden Beast, so that way it will allow the AI break to be until <laughs> the end. Uh, sometimes it gets... Elden Beast gets out of the AI break, which is kind mm -hmm. of unfortunate, like we just saw. But uh, we got this. Yeah, we it's sadly this. not something I have under, or no runners have under their control. Yeah. <clears throat> so for those who are probably wondering what an AI break is, it's essentially just the AI just doesn't move. It breaks, it doesn't know what to do, so you can just do full damage without the boss even doing anything. Uh, it's a very specific way on how you need to do those AI breaks, but very, very useful in a run. All right, Radagon, round three. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> so getting the free damage in on the first couple's hits. If you do get hit in this part, it's not too bad since we're now uh, more leveled up in our vitality and our mana. Uh, we're mostly just trying to make sure that we dodge all the hits. Thankfully, a lot of it's more or less the same. So it's not too, too bad. There you go. And now for the three slams. One, two, and three. There you go. And that's uh, right hey. on again. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Now to summon the imps, buff up, and time for Elden Beast. All right, everybody uh, pray or cross your fingers. Hopefully Elden Beast behaves this time. Oh, hoping, hoping. Oh, I think one of the imps survived. Yep, one of the imps survived. So now we just sit here and do damage. And time's gonna be coming up very soon. <laughs> I like how, how you're excited you about this part. I love it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Woo! Hey, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Nice. <laughs> very good. Very good. There you go. And, yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's how you slain. become Elden Lord in uh, 30, 40 minutes. A yeah. No longer maidenless. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. And I believe we call time when we touch the... Uh, yeah, when we touch this yeah, thing. And time. There you go. And time. I just want to show my pot boy. Hold, Gigi. On, hold on. He's going to say hi. Wait, yes. Go hey. get pot boy. There he is. <laughs> hey, we love yep. pot boy. He's the yeah. best boy. <laughs> Very good job. Yeah. So if you have any uh, uh, shout outs or anything yeah, you want to uh, do. Yeah, I want to do a shout out to like the, like just like the Souls community, all really like nice people. They are, they are really, very helpful too. Um, uh, thank you, Captain, for commentating. <laughs> also, no uh, thank you to, to everyone in chat watching, donating, uh, you know, so I, I, I appreciate gotta let you know, thank there you. are a lot of pot friends showing up in chat. Oh, nice! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I love the pot boy. Uh, yeah, that that was it. Um, yeah, you can you can find me for more speedruns at twitch.tv slash Larksa and you, Catlink, where can they find you? Uh, twitch.tv forward hey. slash Catlink. Uh, thank you again for having me on here. I don't run this game. I learned it when it first came out forever ago. Lots of change. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for having me on though. That was a that was a trip. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Bo. And you know what? 
I, I'd love to thank Trout because that was an exciting run all the way to the end. Wow, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> so thank you both so much for that run. Mark said you did 